the Woodland Luxury Apartments. One day later. Hmm, so luxurious. Hey, Sheriff. What's up? Are you gonna come see the truck off? Like it. Looking for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Who's going okay. to the farm? Great. This fucking line. <laughs> Not much has changed, apparently. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher yes. left his keys. Okay. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? She needs a secretary. Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Well, this is an anticlimactic kind of ending. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> I love that guy. <sighs> Yellow Brick Roadhouse. Ha. <laughs> Toad and his son are going to the farm? What the f- oh, Where's wow. his glamour? Jesus. He's in broad daylight. What the shit? We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ah, shit. Hey man, I tried to give you, you a chance, man. Several. Sorry about all this. It's a fucking start. I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? Well, I don't you know. Look at yourself. Me, I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Where's your fucking Wait, glamour? Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, sure. she was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Aww. It's the willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. <laughs> I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around. Right. Uh, you nice don't have to hide yourself. You can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. So your dad clearly has a worry, fucking problem with it. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Fuck off. I made a valid point about him being a fucking pig, seriously. Saying goodbye? Narissa! My mermaid pal. Hero. Save the day you did. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let me help. Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Just take the okay? fucking thing off. Why, like, you got Listen, Stockholm Syndrome I, of a ribbon? I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> start Faith, at the beginning. Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... What did you do? I... I had no choice. You have to understand. What? You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, what did you do? 
I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. No. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? Why would you try again so if you succeeded? I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. Motherfucker. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. Here. Thank you. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, Jeez. and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what oh, I said. Oh, fuck, she lied? But it wasn't the truth, was it? Oh. What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? truth? It was true enough. I guess... Yeah, there was... I guess it worked probably out. gonna get off if we didn't fucking... We should've just killed him back at the goddamn no, foundry. ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of his stupid technicality. Especially after... True enough. The law's Night broken. After Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... Oh, I what? I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Trying to get my attention. Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... You started all this. Come full circle. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all of the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it. Not better. anymore! We just... Fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like Wolf that is on the case. And I'm fucking immortal. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. These fucking people. No one might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Change is the only universal Look, constant. Baby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. Yay. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Cool. You've been given this job for a reason. Yeah, that's pretty good. I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Sweet. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Whoa. Whoa, hang on. Wait, hold on a second. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. Oh, we've met before. What? Do you like my ribbon? Do you like Wait, she's Faith? Faith wore one too. What hide her in so she could Oh my god! Is that how she changed this for fucking donkey skin girl? Always hiding? Is the ribbon her glamour? Oh, you motherfucker. No, go after her. Oh. I'll see you around. I look forward to the next season.